so you are seeing here a very interesting anatomy so you can tell me what is this so there are so many questions from this this is meckel's diverticulum so in meckel's diverticulum i want to tell you basic points from the image what you saw now you can see this is the image you saw just now in the video so meckel's diverticulum is always seen on the anti mesenteric border this is the mesenteric border you see this is a mesenteric border from the picture you saw it is a mesentery so meckel's diverticulum is seen on anti mesentery border first point i want you to remember mesentery anti mesentery border and meckel's diverticulum is 2 inch in length okay it is 2 inch in length it is found 2 feet proximal to iliocecal junction proximal to iliocecal junction means the ilium continues and as the ilium continues this is the iliocecal junction so it is found 2 feet proximal to iliocecal junction and it is seen in 2% individuals it is seen in 2% individuals so that is what we call it as rule of 2 and meckel's diverticulum is nothing but it is a persistence of dash persistence of proximal please don't forget not distal proximal vitello intestinal duct meckel's diverticulum is a persistence of proximal vitello intestinal duct it is 2% individuals it is seen 2 inch in length 2 feet proximal to iliocecal junction and it is found on the anti mesenteric border and it will contain two important ectopic mucosas one is gastric mucosa in the adjacent ilium this is the most common mucosa that is gastric mucosa which is found not inside the meckel it is found in the adjacent ilium and another mucosa second common mucosa is pancreatic mucosa so there are other mucosas also seen like colonic mucosa brenner's glands can also be seen but the two common mucosas are gastric and pancreatic mucosa so please don't forget very basic of meckel's